All right, continuing with our uh, piece. As I saw, we were working on this little cylinder that comes out here and uh, <clears throat> on the toy gun. And I'm going to cover on this side. I'm going to do the same thing. Establish where your piece is or where your little cylinder is going to be and then you simply remove the wood that's from around it. Now this is all going to have to come down quite a bit, which we know, so let's go ahead and bring it down. Because this cylinder is going to have to come out a little ways. Okay. We'll just redraw that barrel, remeasure and redraw it. Okay. Same thing over here. Let's go ahead, kind of work from side to side, bringing that down. Be careful. All this has got to come down. Cut in here. Take your knife. Bring that down. Now, there's a mad rash of problems in this country with people not letting their children play with toy guns because it will emphasize violence uh, later on in life. Well, I, I'll tell you what, if, if playing with toy guns emphasized violence, well, I should have been in prison a long time ago because I'll tell you what, I played with them. I love to play war. I love to play, uh, and, and I'm not saying that war is a healthy thing to like it's just the fact that it was a different era I guess it was before the Vietnam War and all those things and and uh, but we love to play war and we love to play uh, 
cowboys and do things like that. And we loved to make our little guns and we'd make them out of anything. So, okay. But, and I'm not saying if you don't want your children to play with guns, but guns are a part of our society. And, uh, unfortunately, I don't buy into the fact that if we get rid of all the guns, people won't kill one another because if people want to kill you, they're going to kill you whether it's a gun or a knife or a bomb or whatever. This, so <laughs> I'm not going to get any political stuff here because I'm carving, but, but I, I know that um, and if you outlaw guns, all you're going to do is get them on the black market. So Okay. As we look at this now on the little cylinders, we need to come in a little bit more. Go ahead and bring this in a little bit more. And as we work it down, getting it even here, and then we'll do our detail. You always want to get your Get this all done first then then you can work on your detail okay we're gonna keep coming down with it I want to go ahead and get this kind of Remove a little of this right in here. We'll, we'll, like I said, we'll redraw that. That needs to come down so we can kind of get our bearings straight. The barrel does. Because <laughs> it's got to come down quite a bit. Okay. Down some more. Come down some more. Same thing over here. Let's go ahead and bring this area down here where the barrel meets with the. We're just going to go ahead and bring a lot of that down in that area because it needs to come down. Now this is not a, a replica, folks. This is just a toy. It's going to be a toy. It'll be a nice toy for a child, for a little boy. And not too many little girls play with with uh, toy guns. But let's look at the. Let's just kind of look at it right here. Still have a whole lot more to go. Taking large cuts off now. Bring it, really bring it down. You can in this time. Like I said, uh, what's just even easier if you don't want to carve the whole thing is just carve up to here and then get your wood dowel and just drill your hole and stick the wood dowel in there or another little wood dowel. But for this lesson, I wanted to just, if you want to just carve a, an old timey toy gun. The way they used to carve them years ago, 
they, they didn't have a lot of things that we had today. I mean, it takes longer if you do it this way, of course. It's much, much easier just to carve that piece there and then go from there. But we're not interested in worrying about that. We're going to... We're interested in just carving a little toy gun. Okay, let's have a look at it here. It's getting there as we go kinda like when I carve that figure out of a block of wood it's so much easier to cut it out with a band saw but I wanted to show you in case you didn't have a band saw how to carve it Now this would be tough to carve out of a block of wood. <laughs> it wouldn't be that tough, I guess, really. It would just be a lot time, more time consuming. Thank God for band saws and scroll saws and saws that you can get rid of some of that excess wood. What we're, what, what we're doing right now for you beginners is what is called blocking out a lot. Um, um, where we just sort of get rid of a lot of the trash okay well my time's about up uh, on this right now and um, so anyway we'll continue